Hi, I'm Dave Cuthbertson from Square Mail Systems. I'm going to show you how the Divisio Diagram Linker works, a new addition to our SMS Visio Utils. This utility will allow you to make drill down to detail diagrams very simply. It means you can have local diagrams maintained by teams on different sites, but brought together from a central operational perspective. And it avoids any mistakes made with manual linking, especially where we may be dealing with hundreds of diagrams. Here are different examples of drilling down. Uh, you can obviously choose your own examples, but I'll just show you how we can do a floor plan down to rack diagrams and device build, and then also an equivalent of how we then drill down from maybe uh, an overview of a country and offices down into the different networks in each uh, building. And there's other ways on the right hand side there, you see another style where we have organizational units and how they're linked together with networks, and then we're breaking each network down and then each particular component, in this case, military vehicles and systems. We'll start first of all with uh, an example of a floor plan used in computer data centers and equipment rooms. Visio has a facility called Hyperlinks that allows us to jump between diagrams which we use. And if I hold down the control key and then do a left click, I can see the hyperlink preserved saying cabinet details in this case. And this is a hyperlink we've put in with our asset gen software to take you straight into a, an infrastructure database. What our system will do will add in hyperlinks that will then take you to other Visio diagrams so you have a choice of which information is most useful. To add in a hyperlink, I go to the SMS Visio Utilities menu at the top. I do link to sub diagrams and this will look for some shape data in each of the shapes which has a property called cabinet name. It will insert a prefix called cabinet diagram and we can edit this and then I choose the file or various files that have the underlying detail. So in this case I'm going to choose one called Birmingham Rack Diagrams. I open this and then I press link and this will go through uh, examine all the different uh, diagrams in that file and there you can see it's added in 39 hyperlinks. If I close this and I do, do control click on the same thing I now have a cabinet diagram. If I do a left click on that that takes me straight into the rack diagram. And as you can see, all the different racks have different tabs. And what we do is we look to make sure that there's a tab corresponding to that. I can now do exactly the same here for within all these racks. If I go back to the link to sub diagrams, because I want to now link maybe down to the individual equipment builds, I look at the link properties. And there are lots of different types of data in all of these. And so there's a lot of flexibility. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for a field called name. So look for the name of a piece of equipment. Change the prefix. Let's make it a hardware layout. And then choose the file that actually has the layout of all the various uh, network switches. So I've got one here called Birmingham Core Switches. If I now open this and do link, this will then run through all those core switch diagrams and link them into all the different Visio uh, diagrams across these racks. And do close. And if I now do a right click on that core switch, you'll now see there's a hyperlink there called Hardware Layout. If I do a single click on that, this is now taking us into the core switch. And we can then see the hardware layout and have all the configuration parameters. If I have 100 racks, if I have 100 switches, if I have multiple offices, same technique. So I'll just show you another example of how to use it. Here I've got an example where I've got uh, an overview of the various offices uh, across uh, an organization. So I've got a tab here for UK offices and I've got a tab for the European offices. And I want to be able to drill down into each of the different networks for all of those offices. Exactly the same technique. I'll go to SMS Utilities, link to sub diagrams. This will then look through and see what available data there is. And there's a field called Office. We'll change the name and call it Office Network, Office LAN, for example. Let's look at the various files where all the Office LANs are. So I've got one here called all the European Office Network diagrams. And I'll also select the Northern Region and Southern Region diagrams as well. And I'll now link these uh, shapes to the various diagrams. As you can see, it's added in all the various offices. And so if I now do a right click on Birmingham, I've now got a hyperlink called Office LAN. Do a single click. That now takes me into the Office LAN. And this has taken us into all the different networks, which are actually maintained maybe by different operational teams. 
So very simple, making use of shape data and naming of the tabs within your diagrams. If you want to know then please come back to us. You can download this uh, utility uh, from our product section on our website and uh, if you want to know a little bit more about Physio Automation please contact us so that we can then uh, help and assist you to spend uh, more time automating your diagrams. And you've also seen a little bit of how uh, some of our integration works. So if I have multiple data centers and I have you know, tens, hundreds, thousands of racks, I can compress that all down into a couple of minutes and link them all together. Thank you.